Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is a vlog I'm doing from Champions Club at the retreat in Corona, California. And that was that is Steven. He is a, a really good golfer from uh, the Pasadena area, actually. That I just happened to get paired with Steven, and they said, go out and, and uh, play with him. It, so we were both single, single so uh, turns out to be a really interesting guy. So uh, Steven had told me to only hit this 200 yards, but I didn't realize he meant hit the club that usually goes 200 yards. And it was so far downhill, so I hit, I hit a six iron thinking that all said and done it would go 200 yards. Now I have a four iron and 200 yards to go in, into this hole, which is uh, over a big ravine. That is the, the big feature of this course is huge ravines everywhere. And uh, you can lose a lot of balls quick here. Uh, I kind of jumped offside on that one. It made a good sound. It's like almost like it hit the green. And uh, I actually I hit the green, but then rolled back down to that flat area in front of the green. Steven hit it solid, but he went up. Uh, he went just short there, Steven there, and uh, did not hit a very good chip there. You see me in the orange running down to get my ball, which is way at the bottom. Steven is actually uh, in talking to him just because I had just met him. He's a, a plus 2.2 handicap right now. See that right there? Steven left his wedge that he used right there on the left, our left. The right hand side of the, just off the right hand side of the green well he ended up leaving it there and uh, lost his wedge forever it wasn't returned but it's funny i have video evidence of when he left it all right so this is my putt for a par on the 10th hole with my new even roll putter man that was Come motoring on. when it went into hey. right. hang on hang on where's the camera right there oh. <laughs> Yeah, Stephen's uh, originally from uh, the north of England, and he's lived all over the world now he's here. So bogey for Stephen, par for me. Let's move on to the 11th hole. Oh, forgot to tell you guys. Four and five iron is what I hit. Okay. So oh, let's hear this first. And the ideal line is just off that last grass bunker. And it'll run down the bottom of the hill. Are you aiming at that grouping of stakes there, a little right yeah, of that? Yeah, just a little bit right of there. Okay. And then if it goes down the hill, you're great. If it gets held up, you're on the flat part. So this is a brand new camera that I'm using. I just bought it. It's called a Canon T5i. There's a link for what I'm talking about in the description below. And I didn't have it yet, but I also bought a brand new and microphone. all the way up on that shelf? Yeah, that's it to the right. Gosh. So you hit it down the bottom, it's like an eight and a nine iron. Oh, okay. okay. So usually my course vlogs are done on the iPhone, but this is with this uh, Canon T5i, which I wanted to get because it has autofocus, uh, which my old T3i did not. That was a fine shot. Not, not great, but it was fine. You want to be a little bit right of the pin because it bounces down from the right. Like play at 148, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, can you line me up? Like that. So that's, that's the pin. Okay. But if you're a little bit right of this, you'll bounce down. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, it's a totally blind shot from here. This is an eight iron. See the uh, very uneven lie, and it's uh, yeah totally blind. So I'm really making sure that I have a good line. Awesome impact there. Kind of dug it into the side of the hill, but started it right on the line that I wanted to. So I'll have to see a little quick pan this. Can... So I hit it solid just a little bit too far, ran over the green and hit this chip. That was actually a really good chip. I have not been chipping great recently because I haven't been practicing it. There's no way around, no shortcuts around being good at chipping. You just gotta actually get out there and do it. Steven for his par. Steven's claim to fame around here is he has the course record of this course actually. He shot 61 back in February. We'll hear more about that later. But uh, he's actually a pretty great golfer. I thought it would go like that. 
Yeah, I hit it like I wanted to. I just misread that break. I'm kind of overreading a lot of breaks on this course. Is that the line you want? Yeah, perfect shot there. You can't use a lot of drivers here on the back nine just because uh, you're hitting from like islands of grass to islands of grass uh, amidst this ocean of California yeah. scrub. So I've got my uh, my loved hybrid out here. I'm just going to try to get it started. And you can see these swings with a hybrid. Watch my right foot in these hybrid swings. Not quite the, the double stall I do on the iron shots. So just the confidence. I was complaining about this the other day that the pin was on the left. Mm -hmm. I said whenever it's on the left, I always end up in the middle of that dip. Whenever it's on the dip, I always end up on the top of the sea. All right, so Stephen has 120. He's going uh, down the hill. I think this is a pitching wedge. Came out just a little short again, which was a, a theme for him this day. All right, so I have about 109. Yep, the yeah, bowl really helped me, and it kicked it. right yeah. at the... At that's a nice uh, pin location. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kicked right at the hole. I only have about uh, three and a half feet. Steven from off the green. Oh. Yeah, nuked that one. Ran it out there. He just has not had a lot of time yeah. recently to practice his short game. He was telling me this entire first couple holes about the cart girl that works here, so he was really uh, excited for me to meet her Good with the camera. So we will meet her the whole after the, uh, after this one. So uh, he was very impressed by her, and he thought uh, she'd be good to profile. So Brittany, we're going to see her soon. All right, this is a very difficult par three because you cannot miss right at all. It goes into this ravine. You can see there's a big hill up the left. You can basically miss anywhere you want to left, but you can't miss right at all. So I took a uh, kind of a very open stance, and then I did this move that I saw in an internet video. I don't know where that came from, why I did that. Out of nowhere, I tried, I tried to do some internet video move and uh, that I had never tried before, and I totally yanked it, bounced off the hill, rocketed across the green. Rocketing across the green. Yes, Brendan, that's right. I remembered well. And then the, uh, that's where I ended up. So this is me chipping for birdie. One over par at the moment. Chipping for birdie. And the weather was quite nice when we were playing at, at this moment, uh, but it, it gets, you'll hear on, on the microphone, that's why I'm thrilled that I bought a windscreen microphone uh, to use the next time. Uh, you'll hear it gets windier and windier. All right, so this is my putt for par, about nine feet. Great stroke there. And I found the hole. Awesome. So I stay at one over par. And uh, Stephen was just really having a bit of fun. So, I, and I didn't want to ambush him by, you know, saying that, hey, I'm going to film every single shot of yours and keep your score, too. But uh, he's up for that sort of thing, so next time we play together, we're going to probably have a match. All right, so the first time I get to use my driver here, it's a long dogleg right, par four. And I couldn't really tell how far away those bunkers were, but there was, like, major scrub area to the right, so... Kind of thinking about that scrub area, I pulled it a little bit, and I went into one of those half pot s bunker. style bunkers. All right, here goes Steven. Watch this driver move. Yeah, really good. No red lights at all in that Too swing. Much. Should be good, right? Should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, you see where the bunker is on the right? Yeah. Everything all the way down there is all grass. There's nothing in it. Okay. Um, the only thing you've got to avoid, the tree on the left is a bit shitty. Yep, I just can't, I can't get to the green with this. Okay. So okay. Just try to right, I didn't think because of the lip, I didn't think that I could get to the green. So this is a, a seven iron. So I'm just trying to, and I've, I've got about 170. So I'm just trying to hit it solid, and that's what I did. And it came up just in front of the green. Really solid, though. 
And as we're going up to the green, we can see Brittany, the uh, famous cart girl here, has just parked, which gave me an idea to help Steven out a little bit, I guess. You have to interview her for me. It'd be quite, quite funny, actually. It depends. Yeah, tell, tell her, hey, this will raise your status. Say, this guy came out to profile me as a player, and he, uh, uh, he wants me to interview you. He heard about my course record and came out to interview me. So that's the plan. He's going to present himself as being profiled by Be Better Golf. Maybe that'll help his status. So uh, Brittany will see this and probably laugh about it. So you have to do an interview because Brandon here is doing a little profile thing because of the course record. So he has to like have an interview with you. Hi. Everybody says you're one of the top cart girls in the in the area. Really? Mm-hmm. Couple a couple different people told me that. All right, so on to my but no, only Steven told me that, but uh, kind of, kind of uh, trumping it up, I guess you would call it. Uh, all right, so this is my putt for a par with a gallery too, so I wanted to make that, and I did. Funny, yanked it a little bit, but yeah, you straighten it out. It drifted back. Ugly today out of all days. I wish you would have told me. See, hey everybody, I just want to introduce you to the most effective. Most beautiful Brittany, one of the best car girls in Southern California. Brittany, over to you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I am, well, my name's Brittany. <laughs> I've been here at the Champions Club for about two, two and a half years now. So what I say to the guys is you're always on point, you're round a lot of the I time. Do. You, you'll run I make my rounds. I usually come around every three to four holes. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, they have my phone number, so they just call me whenever they really need me, or if they want, if they know that I'm gonna be out here, it's just it's easier for me to get around to them and know exactly what they want. So. Now, style-wise, what are you wearing today? You know, today was supposed to rain, so <laughs> I prepared for, for the weather. Give us a spin. Um. Okay. You normally don't wear Uggs out here, but again, I thought it was going to rain. All right. So. Collar shirt, collar sweater. Oh, and the logo. See oh. the logo. Yep. There you go. Champions cool. Club. All right, we'll see you in a few holes then. Sounds good. Hopefully you'll find Steven's wedge. You good? Yeah, we're good. No, she didn't find Steven's wedge. So, uh, all right, you guys are interested in learning more about the cart girls at the various golf courses, let me know. If you thought that was stupid, say nothing and I'll get the hint. So uh, moving on, this is a part three, 153 yards going down this hill. I have a nine iron. And yeah, that was good. I got the ball well gone before the divot was made. So it carried pretty true. Look at this, everybody. They're almost missing a really good tee box for some kind of hole going, you know. What's that? Like this would be an awesome golf shot going this way, oh, you, yeah. you know, too. Steven, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been playing golf? Been playing golf now, unfortunately, 40 years. It's a long time. Yeah. And um, been over in the US now for about six years. Spent 10 years before that in South Africa. Played golf all over the world. And I uh, have to say, Southern California weather is uh, the best place you can come to to play golf. Tell us about the round of golf you had here at this course recently. Um, back in February, uh, managed to shoot a 61. Started off well with an eagle on the first, and it just kept on going from there. Awesome. So, uh, on the 17th and 18th, I had. 10 foot put on 17 and a 12 foot put on 18 for birdie that I missed both of them and uh, my knees were knocking and I couldn't do anything by the time we finished so uh, what was your what was your best round before that best round before that was a 63 wow so, so you smashed it oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's it's, awesome uh, so it's now up in the clubhouse and hopefully there for a long time yeah of course right not your first course record though no no yeah. uh, third but that one was special yeah, a step yeah. above yeah. any of the other ones yeah yeah I just thought it was really cool because Steven is um, getting better even after playing for 40 years. He's getting better and better. I had a good read on that. Did not hit that the correct pace though. He kept rocketing off. This is for my par after such a, a really solid good tee shot. Oh! And got about I don't know, 140 degrees of the hole, but it didn't go in. 
All right, so par five, I'm two over par now. Steven hit a really good one down the left-hand side. And uh, I got a good aiming point from him. So I knew I wanted to go kind of follow his ball. And that's what it did. The only thing about shooting on this camera is that you can't do the Pro Tracer app. Awesome shot by Steven there. Three wood. Sounded awesome. I never, I never, oh, there it is. Great shot. Does he got to sit down? Was it going like that? Yeah. Hey, when you put that camera over, I'm going to swing probably. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so um, I have 270 yards to the green, so there's water right, so I'm just going to lay up here with this hybrid that I almost never miss with and hit an awesome shot. Up there, right? Yeah, I, yeah I am. <laughs> <laughs> Water right ball below my feet, I am laying up. No shame in this game. Okay, so actually, I th after all that, I think I have about, yeah, this is about 65 yards only. And if you guys are follow my Instagram, bb underscore golf show, you saw I did this the day before at Temecula Creek. This is, this is the typical sarcastic English sense of humor coming out. Yeah. But I bet that one gets edited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Until I hit this one from here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's Steven. That actually was a pretty terrible shot for him as well. Perfect distance. Yeah, that was about all. <laughs> all right, so zipping through, uh, I was... Uh, I don't know what happened. Made a bogey. Steven hit a one-handed shot, but it was perfect down the middle. I think this is the eighth hole. Either seven or eight. And another hybrid off the tee. So it's funny, looking back at this, I was even par on all the holes that I used anything other than driver on. It's the marshal. He's showing the new guy. And I was four over or something like that on uh, three over on the holes where I did use driver. Actually, it was not, not too bad of a swing ganked it, though. I'm going to start taking, taking more shallow divots. I'm going to try. All right, come on. That's me trying to get myself pumped up. It's a really difficult up and down from where I am. So I'm trying to embrace that challenge and hit a good shot, then stay with it and hit a great putt. I actually landed that right where I thought I should have. It didn't quite take the kick I thought it would have, but I got about eight feet left for my par. Steven for his par here. He didn't like that one. Steven said that he can generally play pretty well, but if he really has to go low, he, he needs to devote some time to his putting and short game. That was really great to get that up and down. That felt good. All right, going on, this is the ninth hole now. Love that. Yeah, Steven had a great drive. He was telling me he's just about to get a new driver. Yeah, I can tell that. That's like low and spinning, though. Yeah. 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 Like, if you can get that higher ball with, like, knuckleball. Yeah. That's going to be, like, And that was the difference. They, yeah. they took the spin off, and it was coming out at a much, and much, much higher more too. elevated. Yeah. All right, so ninth hole. I got driver here. See, look at that. I did that drill again that I had. I had never done it in my life, and then I saw a video about doing that drill, kind of, for takeaway. And the two times I did that, I hit the two worst tee shots of my round. One way to the left, and this one way to the right. And I'm way up that hill, so a little uh, Benny Hill zip through. I actually hit a great shot to get that. It was uh, sitting halfway, like, elevated off the ground on that bush. Hit a great shot. Here's Steven, and he's finally starting to feel himself with his irons. He had a great like iron shot. He hit that to about a yeah, foot like that. and a half. Yeah, I like that. Very good. What's that, the, the lowest your handicap's been? Um, uh, no, plus what? Plus two and a half, 2.4. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that was when I was in South Africa. Yeah. And I lived on the golf course. Yeah. 
Work-life balance there is ridiculous. Right. <laughs> uh... Small work, lots of, lots yeah. of life. Yeah. yeah. I'm laying two, hitting three. All these uphill lies. I'm being very flat-footed. Yeah, I said, I said, you're gonna get it up this time. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's up. Yeah. Two shot penalty. <laughs> right. No, not on this channel because it's hard to see the hole. I have a local rule that it's okay to leave the flag in. Okay. So you're good. This is for two over on the round. Missed that one. So this now is for three over on the nine. Let's buckle down and make this one at least. All right. That's positive. I'm starting to like this putter quite a lot. All right, guys, that's it. So thanks, Steven, for uh, playing with me. I think uh, we'll see you again on the channel. And uh, guys, hit the subscribe button. should be down here in this corner. What comes up next for you, Steven, golf-wise? Um, next weekend, got some golf coming up again. I'm going to head out to Palm Springs. Oh, uh, a tournament? No, just going out with some friends, going out to Desert Willow. So I'm going to enjoy that. And, That's uh, on four links. Yep. Yeah. It's on four links, yeah. yeah. So You'll use your four links points for that? I definitely will, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And then Christmas is coming up where I'm uh, going to use all of my four links over the whole Christmas period. Blast them out. Yep. All right. See you guys later. See you later.